Okay, so let's go from completely removing our printer to reinstalling the driver and updating the printer firmware. So what I've already done is I've already removed my printer and the way you do that is you simply go to devices and printers, then your Evolus Primacy will be here somewhere and all you have to do is, I'm just going to show you on this one, is right click on it and say remove device. That will remove your Volus Primacy from your system and then it will be disappear it will disappear there. So what you want to do then is you want to go into your browser, you want to go to evolus.com and you want to download the latest driver as well as the latest firmware. So you want to go to whichever printer you're using, in this case we're using a Primacy. I'm going to click over there. I'm going to click on here to download the latest driver or print center and I'm going to click on here to download the latest firmware. Now I've already done it. So let me minimize this and go there quickly. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and in here you will see Evolus setup, Evolus premium suite. You. So the first thing you want to do is you want to update your driver. So I'm going to double click there, say run and admin warning comes up. I click yes. Um, select the language you want to use, English. And then it says this version is already installed. Would you like to update it? Your, your screen might be saying um, there's an older version has been detected would you like to update it in your case you want to click yes now I've already done that so I'm going to click no but just click yes and follow the on-screen instructions and when you're done come back to this video I will I'll continue from this point okay welcome back did you click yes and follow the instructions great I'm going to click no and just go from there so now I've updated and installed my uh, print center or my driver again I've got the latest version and now I'm ready to install my printer so all I'm going to do is just check that it's not in standby mode by pressing the LED button in the front I'm just going to wait till the printer wakes up okay and now I'm going to just insert my USB port you'll see it comes up with a, a pop-up saying installing device driver I'll open that up and I'll also open up my devices and printers tab to just see what's going on. You can see the printer has um, has been picked up as an unspecified device and you just have to wait while it um, while it uh, locates the driver for the printer and installs it again. There we go. You can see it's um, it's finished installing right now. There we go. And you'll see that your printer has been installed after you plugged it in and after you waited for uh, the device to the driver software installation to take place. I'm going to close that up and I'm going to close this up. As you can see now, I've already got a ribbon in and I've got cards in already. Um, let's quickly update the printer firmware. You want to double click on the printer to enter its properties section. You want to go down to maintenance. You want to go to firmware update. Before we do anything, let's just go to system details. And as you can see, the firmware version on this printer is 1346. If we go to our downloads folder quickly, you'll see that the firmware version we downloaded which will be a file that looks like this is 1413 so we are actually about to update this um, printer so I'm going to go update firmware update launch the update wizard uh, do you want to allow yes see this little admin warning and you want to make sure that your printer is on that it hasn't been in standby mode for a while and you want to click next you do not want to disconnect power while this is happening but let's um let's hope that the power does not go off during this update you want to go to downloads you want to click on your uh, firmware that you've downloaded you want to open it up and then you want to click next you hear your printer respond after about a minute of updating and there we go the printer update successfully completed the printer firmware update has been successfully completed click on finish to close this wizard and there we go if you go back to system details you'll see if you refresh it over here that you've updated the printer firmware version so right now after having just downloaded the latest driver and installed it or updated my driver, I've, um, I've deleted my printer before that and then I reinstalled my printer. I've then um, updated the firmware version. So now I am completely up to date in terms of my drivers and my firmware. And I'm ready to print.